All right, guys, if you love Old Forester 1910, then buckle up. Not too long ago, Jackie Zykin and Old Forester announced the release of the third expression in the 117 series, the 1910 Extra Old. Is it worth the hunt and likely marked up prices? Let's find out on the mash and drum. Let's drop the new intro. What's up folks, I am Jason C from the Master and Drum. The Old Forester 117 series is a limited 375 milliliter line of whiskeys that launched with High Angel Share in spring of last year and was followed up by Warehouse K. And now with 1910 Extra Old, the first finished whiskey has joined the 117 lineup. So the 117 series is named for the distillery's address on Main Street in Louisville. This release in the 117 series is a curious exploration into the intensity of the proprietary heavily charred 1910 barrel, said master taster Jackie Zykin. This liquid was allowed to rest for 18 months in this secondary barrel, extracting significantly more of the heavily charred influence. So 1910 Extra Old draws from the distillery's popular Whiskey Row series, Old Forester 1910. On October 22, 1910, a fire on the bottling line halted the production of Old Forester. Mature whiskey ready to be bottled was instead stored in a second barrel. What came out of that barrel became an entirely new expression, Old Fine Whiskey, which was launched as part of the Whiskey Row series back in 2018. So here's the Old Forester 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. So what's the difference between these two? Well, the standard Old Forester barrel gets about a 22 second char on it, said Jackie Zykin back in 2018. Now the second 1910 barrel gets more than double that. She says it's actually more than 50 seconds. So it's cooked, she explains. The barrel is charred, 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 she says. We took it up as high as we could before it wasn't going to be viable to hold liquid anymore. So the Old Forester 1910 Extra Old launched on February 23rd at the retail shop at Old Forester Distilling Company and in select states for direct to consumer sales for only 50 bucks in limited quantities and at select Kentucky stores. It's bottled at 93 proof, the same as the standard Old Fine Whiskey, but in a 375 milliliter little baby bottle. All right, so being Brown Foreman, this is essentially the Old Forester version of the Woodford Reserve Double Double Oaked, but a way more intense version with that 50 to 55 second char on that secondary barrel. So let's give it a try. What I'm gonna do here is taste through the 1910 and just do a direct comparison. I feel like that'll be able to give me a better review for you guys. So let's start with the 1910, what I get on the nose here. It's been a little while since I've had this one. As, as dark as I remember with that, with that intense oak, but more citrusy than I remember, getting a little bit more citrus on this one, especially like orange peel. Just a ton of cinnamon oak man that coffee notes coming out i get a i get kind of a youthful corn note now remember old forester aside from the birthday bourbon you're not gonna find much ultra aged stuff coming from old forester very often you know remember they use that heat cycled warehouse uh, maturation where you're getting younger whiskey but with more of a forced maturation with the uh, heat cycling so Generally, it's gonna be a younger whiskey. And sometimes you pick it up and sometimes you don't. But here there's that nice marshmallow note, there's the milk chocolate, a little bit of coffee, some citrus, maybe a hint of dark fruit, but not much. All right, let's go to the nose on the uh, 117 the Extra Old and see how it differentiates. All right, way more like leathery, old tobacco notes here. Plus, I'm getting way more of a dark fruit flavor on here. I want to say it's kind of like a Luxardo cherry. 
maybe even as far as to say like a raisin type thing. Yeah, when you compare the two, the nose is very different. You get more of the youthful characteristics out of the 1910 Old Fine Whiskey, the standard version. Now, it doesn't say, you know, th these are both non-H stated, so I'm not sure if there's any older whiskey in the 1910 extra old, but uh, I think that extra maturation, that double-double oak to maturation, definitely gives off some more maturity, or gives the illusion that it's more mature, but that extra oak, there's more of a bitter dark chocolate on the nose here, not just a milk chocolate. It's like bitter dark like baking chocolate. Man, smells awesome. All right, let's try the 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. Yeah, chocolate covered orange peel, a little bit, a little bit of a nice coffee note. Again, good spice. Remember, Old Forester has a you know decent amount of rye in their mash bill. They use about 18% rye in their mash bill. So you get a nice little spice to it. Again, it's very sweet. The toasted marshmallow notes come through. Like slightest hint of smoke there. Definitely get a, a drying aspect to the finish with that extra maturation. It's good. I mean, again, you know, you have people on one side of the fence that either love the 1910 and people that don't like it as much. Um, it took me a while to warm up to it because I had to uh, get a little bit more used to it. But once it opened up, I love the 1910 personally. All right, let's try the 117 extra old version. Yeah, a lot more on the like the leathery side. I don't know. I feel like somehow it's a little bit thicker and richer too. Probably pulling some more tannins and some of those textures from that barrel, from that extra maturation. Another sip here. Yeah, I get the dark fruit. Definitely still got the cherry. It's not as citrusy as I'm getting on the regular 1910. Again, this is darker. And again, I'm getting the dark chocolate like bitter baker's chocolate, not the milk chocolate I get on the uh, 19, the regular old fine whiskey. It's nice, it's creamy, good mouthfeel to it. Again, a little bit drying, same thing that you're getting in 1910, maybe even a tad bit more so, but it's not overpowering. You know, I, I think a lot of people ask, oh, why didn't they make this barrel proof? I think if you, if you left it at barrel strength, you would get a ton more oak and some of those tannins and dryness than you would if you didn't cut it with water, so. On that last sip, I just got like, mola like smoke and molasses on the back end of that one. Very syrupy, little smoky, almost like you get the toast and marshmallow, but it's, it's burnt. I mean, you held it out on the fire, you left it on the fire a little bit too long, your marshmallow just went to a complete char, burning, burning, burning. I, I, I appreciate more of the, the creaminess of the, uh, the extra old version. I love the darker flavors to it. You know, the regular 1910 Old Fine Whiskey has those flavors, but there's some, when you compare, the more the youthful notes come through. Again, the 117, I don't think is any older, but that extra maturation definitely gives the illusion of it. So, all right, very good whiskey, interesting comparison. Let's go to the final breakdown. All right, guys, final breakdown time. Price on the 1910 Extra Old is 50 bucks, which I don't think is a bad price, but that's retail. Secondary, I've already seen these hitting 250 to 275 for this little bottle, which I think is pretty insane. Availability on this one, come on guys, it's 2022, let's all say it together, limited. All right, value for this at retail, 50 bucks. I mean, you could argue for a 375 milliliter, why am I paying $50 for it? Listen, the only argument I could tell you is WB Saffle. WB Saffle from the Whiskey Barons lineup, which is, uh, you know, everybody knows as Wild Turkey. Uh, that's a $50 bottle and it's glorious and I'll buy those all day. So for $50, value for this, I would say is even. Now I will say though, at secondary value, 250 to 275, that is a horrible value. I would not, I would not pay that much money for this bottle. Which brings me to the most I'd pay. So most I paid for this. Now I understand it's a limited release. You, you know, you could really only get it in select areas, maybe in Kentucky, 
at the distillery if you were lucky to grab one. Um, and at retail, I love it at retail, but because of the rarity of it, and if you're a fan of 1910, to try something that's kind of a double double oaked version, I might pay a little bit more for this personally. For me, I'd probably pay maybe a hundred bucks for it the most. All right, is this a recommend? Um, I think if you're, as I said before, you have kind of two different sides of the spectrum when it comes to uh, folks and what they think about 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. You have folks on one side that really enjoy it. They love those uh, those extra oaky, marshmallowy notes, a uh, little bit of espresso. And then you have folks on the other side who really don't like it at all. I really find more people that like it more than people that don't like it. But I will say if you're on that side of the fence where you like uh, the 1910, I think you will really love this. I think it adds some extra uh, viscosity to it, adds some extra flavors that you don't find in the 1910. And I do like this, but keep in mind, I do not think that this is $200 better than the regular 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. Again, it's one of those things where Old Forester is really great at what they do, so they've made a really great product with the 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. What they did with this one just kind of enhanced it, bumped up some flavors a little bit, made it a little bit more oaky, a little bit more richer in flavor, and I think for that, $50 for a small bottle is just right. Paying an obscene amount of money over is not worth it in my opinion. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the latest 117 series from Old Forester, the 1910 Extra Old. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you tried this one yet, what you think about it. Do you think it's worth a high markup or do you like it right where it is at 50 bucks? Uh, and as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mastin' Drum. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.